Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So have you ever thought about becoming an artist? Maybe creating some sort of masterpiece, putting it in an exhibition and seeing if everybody understood exactly what your work was all about. Well if so, then here's five things I think you need to know about geometric art. In geometric art, you are an artist who's trying to convey their ideas to those people who come to your exhibition. On your turn, a theme is chosen and the dice are rolled. These dice have specific shapes which you must use to create your artwork based on the theme revealed. Then the guesser makes an attempt to figure out what the drawing is of. The winner is the person who has the most correct guesses. Thing one, what's this game all about? So geometric art really doesn't have a theme. It's definitely more of an activity. And it fits itself squarely in among those games like Pictionary, where somebody draws a picture and everybody else tries to figure out exactly what it is. And while the theme may be thin, it is definitely impressed upon you this notion of being an artist with the fact that you have these lovely whiteboards to draw your work on and a small space to exhibit your pieces. Um, the theme, of course, is light, but I do think it actually helps the game a little bit. Thing two, mechanics. This is a game of very simple mechanics, but they do work together very, very well. This idea of the dice um, determining what shapes you can use to draw your pictures is a novel one and one that I find adds a lot of difficulty to the game. There's also a special mode for playing with two players and I really appreciated that I could play this game at all player counts. Um, is this the most original game I've ever played? No. Is it very, very fun? Yes. Thing three, on the table. To be honest, you could probably play geometric art just about anywhere. Your drawing pads are hard back, so you could keep them on your lap, and then you really only need space to roll some dice and to set up one deck of cards. Correspondingly, setup for the game is pretty straightforward, and the rulebook itself is very, very good. How long you play this game for will depend on how many players you're playing with, but gameplay usually feels quite speedy and quite involved. Re replayability here is limited only by your own imagination. Think four, how does the game look and feel? Well, geometric art comes across as this very well finished and polished game, but why it doesn't have a white border around the box edge like all of the other MPRS4 titles is entirely beyond me. The cover art does a good job of telling you what this game is about. However, what geometric art really has to focus on is its components, and these are both lovely and functional. Thing five, is this game any good? For me, Geometric Art really is kind of a fancier and more difficult version of Pictionary. And as such, it's the party game that's going to get all sorts of laugh out loud moments and, you know, general good times with your friends. However, I think there's a little bit something extra here than just rolling the dice and trying to convey a picture because it really draws upon your experiences as a group and how well you know each other and kind of those hidden ins and outs amongst your friends. Um, and these all get brought up during the game. So more comes to the table than just the drawing and the dice and the cards. Really, you're kind of revealing little bits of each other to each other. Um, and I think that makes for kind of an interesting mix. Um, now, this isn't the most original game ever, sure, but you know what, I don't actually care. Um, because if this is the kind of game that you enjoy, um, that you like drawing things and like guessing with your friends, um, then this is definitely should be in your wheelhouse and it's something you should probably look into. Do I think you should have geometric art in your collection? Well, if you're a fan of party games, particularly ones that involve drawing, well, this is definitely an excellent choice. And not only that, I think this is a great game to play with family and friends who are gamers and non-gamers alike. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. If you enjoy what I do, why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about future videos. Or if you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about geometric art, please leave them in the comment box below. I'd really like to hear from you. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care, everybody.